What's with the white dress? Okay, every family has its mythologies. <clears throat> and in my family, the women do not wear white to get married. So much so that in my brother's first wedding, when he was young, and the bride wore five different white outfits on her wedding day, we're like, ain't gonna last. And it didn't. <laughs> You know that show, Say Yes to the Dress? We love it. We love it. 99.9% .9 of the dresses in that show that the brides pick are white or ecru or ivory, maybe a blush. There's the odd steampunk in blood red or punker and something else, some other color. But they're all white. What is it with these white dresses? Traditionally, women did not wear white to get married. Historically, throughout the <coughs> world, women have worn bright colors. In India, you wear red to get married. In China, you also wear red to get married. In Scandinavia, women wore black. <clears throat> perhaps with a white apron, perhaps with some red trimming, but certainly not white. You wore your best dress. You wore your richest, finest, best dress. That's what I got married in. My best dress wasn't really white. This is a Bruegel painting, early Renaissance. The procession of the bride, she is not wearing white. You're not going to see white. How did the trend to wear white wedding dresses start? We can look back to 1840 and thank Queen Victoria for that. Mm -hmm. Queen Victoria was the first to wear a fine white dress, full train, many, many meters of fabric covered in lace. Mind you, she was the leader of her country and was supporting the lace industry. She was setting an exemplar for her countrymen and women to follow. Queen Victoria wore white. She set a trend that is raging on to this day. By the end of the 18th century, the haute bourgeoisie, the elite on both sides of the <coughs> pond wore white. Now, why white? White's not the traditional color of purity. It's not about innocence. White's a color of mourning throughout. It's really the traditional color of mourning. White shows affluence. Because if you're wearing white, you have the means to either keep it clean, <laughs> get it clean, or it doesn't matter, you can get it dirty. Ordinary people couldn't launder clothes well enough to remove stains, and you had to be able to wear that dress over and over again. In the earlier part of this century, women would wear white dresses and then dye them, color them again, so that they could use them in their regular lives, sh shorten them up. This trend continued on <coughs> until about the 1940s, the rising affluence throughout the United States post-war the white dress became the thing. The bigger the dress, the more fabric, the lower the bodice, the tighter the fit, the more fittings and alterations and tailoring it took, the more it signified success, affluence, and a good, a good gift to the family. Nowadays, in fact, about 75% of wedding dresses are slim, trim, no great frills because they require far less fabric and far less alterations. Say yes to the dress, that's what they all, they're mostly wearing these tight little things. But in my family, we don't wear white. Okay, maybe my grandmother wore white because she had a big Catholic wedding to a Midwestern industrialist in a wedding in a cathedral. 
But my mother, mm-mm, no white there. She was not going to wear white. All growing up as a little girl, I heard about the dress that my mother had worn. It was a beautiful dove gray color. It was chiffon. It had a beautiful low neckline and a 19-inch waist. Mad Men, all the way, late 50s. My mother was styling. Now at that point, there weren't that many photographs. I don't know how many of you were around then. But in the 1960s and <coughs> 70s, people weren't snapping pictures all the time, all the time. We had one photo of my mother in her wedding dress. It looked lovely. But what did I know? Until about three weeks before Christmas, when a huge box arrived from UPS. I opened it up, and inside the box, I found another box and a card that said, Merry Christmas with much love. Someday Daisy might have the occasion to wear this dress. I had never seen my mother's wedding dress before. Oh. Tucked away. So I opened it up. Oh, yes. Oh, opened it up. And then I went, pretty. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Now, Shakespeare said that expectation is the root of all disappointment. All my life, I'd been hearing about this dress. And I opened it up, and I thought, hmm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but I'm getting used to it, and it's like a lot of other things in my family. We're given things, and it's perfectly acceptable to say, I love it. I love it. But I don't know that if I really like it. I'm not sure I like it, but I love it. And who knows? Maybe Daisy will want to wear it, or maybe she'll want to wear this, or maybe she'll just want to blaze her own path and wear a white dress. Who knows? Thank you.